Hello once again everybody, Necromanticer here on Faram, the God of War, about to head into the DLC here in the Shrine of Winter. God, it's good to have another one of these coming back out. I booted up Dark Souls 2, noticed that I had my frozen flower, and I knew what time it is. Guides one to an unknown land. Let's have a look-see at the description here. A stone ornament shaped like a flower, cold enough to dampen the greatest heat opens the door to the new path from the Shrine of Winter, found on the road to the Great Castle. Oh yeah, it is definitely time. All of these tablets have gotten new bits of text to go along with them, though they seem to be a bit reused. Admittedly nonplussed by this, except for this one. Elium Lois, land of the Ivory King, lies cold as death, nary a hint of warmth remaining. Well, that certainly sets the stage, so let's get right into it. And there we have it. Here we are in the frozen land of Elium Lois. It's interesting. It's a very large wall, I guess. You seem to be set up on this strange plateau. I'm not even sure why this is here or why there's a door to it, but this is, seems to be... God, look at that scenery. Just look at that. It's an entire frozen tundra out there. Yeah, like a dream. Goodness, that's so beautiful. Also, that one just sitting there looks really weird, but I guess it kind of fits. God. Doesn't seem like there's too much out here, so let's just head on through those doors. As you can see, they've still got the whole grave markers, kind of signifying the time period in which this is. And I'm I'm almost certain at this point that that's a dragon representing sin on top, a bull and a fire on the bottom representing the Iron King DLC. And so this is going to be the middle DLC. Uh can't quite tell what it is, but again, it looks like a magus and some sort of spirit or golem. Certainly intend to be figuring that out soon enough. Visions of comfort. Yeah, it's just a, it's a really good looking area. Very impressed. I like it a lot. Oh, okay. There are summon signs. I that could be good or that could be bad. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's certainly one way to kick things off. I really like how it almost looks like an eye, that little gap in the ice up there. You could see it a bit better before the branches were there, but that's a cool touch. She said that chaos still hungers. The last time we really had any encounters with Chaos, it was in Lost Isolith. And that was quite the opposite of Elam Lois. Very fiery, horrible place. Well, let's try down to the right path. Okay, we've got our first little enemy here. Looks like a frozen version of the Hollow Soldiers from the Iron Keep. Not sure how representative that's going to be of our experience here. Okay. Oh, nice little overhand there. I like the look of their swords. It looks like almost barbed or serrated. And their bodies stick around. That I was not expecting. Yeah. That's a very good looking sword. I, I would be very sad if FromSoft didn't give that to us at one point. At the very least, let it drop. Red Iron Twin Blade. Very powerful weapon. It's, I've got a full strength. Oh. So much for this lever. Awful lot of coffins. This is a cool looking area. I don't think that we're actually going to get to use that, but I think that's just to signify that there's more to this castle than what we actually get to explore. Maybe I could be wrong? What is this? Oh, hello. 
I don't want to get too close to that figure on the ground just yet. I have a feeling it could be some sort of hazard or trap. Maybe it's just some... Can I... I, I don't want to hit it. I've got a feeling I should. Oddball? What can I summon? Damien. Yeah, that's probably a player. Golden Fruit Bomb. Raises faith. Be wary of ambush left. But it's not this guy, so... That means we've got someone coming up to our left. Yes. Anybody else? Anybody else? Nope. Beast ahead? That's not very good to hear. Hmm. It's a very interesting location, but not a whole lot's happened just yet. Oh! No, no, not the dogs. Luckily, the Red Iron Twin Blade has a lot of durability, so I can afford to be swinging through their corpses. We get Spear plus seven. I don't know why they would give you that, considering the Partisan is basically better in almost every respect. Oh, they dropped an item? Just a human effigy like the regular dogs. So far, there's no new enemies. There's that crouching humanoid back there, but I don't know what's going on with that just yet. <laughs> Torches. Woo. But there's some stuff over there. I'm hoping to see something new and interesting soonishly, but can I get through here? No. But there's another one of those, quote, oddballs back there. Oh. Give it up. <laughs> I can't tell if... There's none back there, but there are items... Oh! There are items back there, which means it must be able to be approached. Can I use fire? Nope. Try, try fire. I just tried fire. Are we sure? Can I get a firebomb? Mayhap. I don't even have any. Maybe if I try a torch. They did just give me some, and this place is very icy. What? Did it get blown out? Yeah, it immediately gets blown out. That's an interesting mechanic. I have a feeling it's caused by that thing over there. Though I cannot be certain at all. It's just a suspicion. There's another one of these. And there are bloodstains? Hmm. Hmm. There's a lot of bloodstains, but there are a lot of enemies coming up, so I guess that's to be expected. Oh! No, no, no. Just stay away from that. Oh, no, they aggro at a pair. But this one is silly and comes out ahead of the group. If you're an NPC, wait for backup. Always the better idea. No sorts of ambushes around here. I'm kind of sad that the, uh... Yeah, there's... Okay, there is a... Bloodstain. At least it looks like it's a bloodstain within the ice, so I'm almost certain that you can enter the ice in one way or another. It's probably going to be a, a mechanic where you actually melt the ice that has something to do with those little crouched, huddled figures that I keep seeing. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Anything around the outskirts on this end? Does not look like it. Okay. You know, I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to... I'm gonna slice it. And that does what for me? Hmm. I've either done exactly what I should be doing, or something that I'm totally gonna regret later. Hopefully it's the former. Yeah, there's a bunch of ambushes around here, so I'll let them come to me. 
Mm. I'm sad that he doesn't stagger as easily as his friends. And even when he does, I only get a trade hit. So there we go. It does almost look like I'm frosting over, but I really just think that's just a persistent effect. I don't think it's going to actually be some sort of status effect. Okay, so I can enter over there. Can I walk through the snowdrift? I cannot. Can I move around and get on top of the snowdrift? I can. So let's come around and take care of this guy. So he stops taking... Oh, there's another one as well. But this guy needs to stop taking potshots at us. Luckily, those ice projectiles are very easy to avoid. Can I not get a backstab? Oh, rolling attack was a little bit delayed, but I'll take it. It's a pretty even trade. Just a uh, death to those random enemies. Oh, there's a cool frosted forest below. <laughs> Try jumping. Oh, wait. No, no, no. There's another way to get that. There, there are a few try jumpings that have caught me before, but I'm not going to fall for the... You know what? I'm, I've just got to kill all of them. That's what I've decided. I've made my choice, and I'm going to stick to it. We're killing all of those little huddled figures. I can go back for the others later, but that's at least what I'm trying. Hopefully that will reveal something or make a change in the scenery. I've got a feeling I'm going to have to track all of them down at one point or another. Small bluebird, which means there may be magic. Hmm. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's any illusory walls in here. It's just a little bit of a respite from the storm. Can I... Okay, I don't have the frost effect on anymore. Can I light up a torch in here? I can. Which means that it's definitely this driving wind that's making it, that's making it so I can't wield a torch. And that leads me to believe that killing those frosted, prostrated figures is going to eventually end the storm. That's only my suspicion. This is a completely blind run, so I have absolutely no idea what I'm getting myself into. A lot of enemies over there, but there's this weird door. Bonfire? 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 Torch. Well, I don't want to pass up a chance to find some extra goodies, so let's get right into it. Oh, and there's a dog, too? That's not very nice. Oh, dear. Let's back off and heal up. This dog doesn't want me to heal up, but he doesn't really get an option, now does he? Oh, trade hits. Not what I wanted. That kill shot is exactly what I wanted. Oh, hey. Hey, now. Let's be reasonable about this. There's more than enough for everybody. Just give me a moment. I'll be right with you. Yeah, this dashing attack is really nice because it allows me to head in straight into the follow-up. Whereas, if I do a regular attack... Hmm, it really looks like I can't backstab these ones with the things on top. But if I head into a regular attack, the follow-up is the... Oh, Ice Rapier. I'll look at that in just a moment. The follow-up is the spinning attack that might not carry itself forward enough to hit them. So I definitely want to be using the sprint attack when possible. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Ice Rapier. Rapier wielded by the sorceresses of Elium Lois. Imbued with magic... With a magic that is released with a strong attack. Great protective wall was erected to protect Elium Lois from the encroaching chaos, and these sorcerers were among the defenders. Yep, give you a little ice blast. It has quite good dex scaling and some free bleed damage. What's its counter rating? I want to check. 140, that's actually a really, really good rapier. Especially if you get this early on in the game. I don't know how you would go about that. You know, maybe I should explore that doorway that I skipped over. Those bolts are very easy to just keep avoiding. Almost feels like the Shrine of Amana a little bit. At least reminiscent of it. That's him down. 
Yeah, let's go back and see what's down that pathway back there. There is some stairs leading up, and I haven't found a bonfire yet, which is pretty strange. I would expect at least something, given all the enemies that I've killed, and two of these little buggers. Whiff completely, and then I get the kill. And you too. Yeah, they definitely don't appreciate that. Why are they overlooking this room? That seems strange that that ledge is there. I don't quite know. But let's go on and see if we can find any more. Well, that was simple enough. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to have a torch to open those. Gorgeous view. Yeah, somebody's already gotten the storm lifted, I'm sure. What's this? Uh, dangerous looking, but it actually has a medium drop, so it should lead me okay. Is there anything else up here? Anything I can see from this vantage point? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Though that area over there looks interesting. Might want to head there sometime. I really have no sense of direction with this right now just because I've never gone through here, so I'm interested. Not going to ambush me while I grab this? Lovely, some monastery charms. And this is the tree that it was telling me to try jumping at before, so glad I didn't do that. Dark clutch ring. Glad we finally have that. I honestly wasn't actually expecting them to give us a dark clutch ring because they already have the abyss seal. But I guess just to make everything even across the board, just give everybody a clutch ring. So I'm pretty sure at this point that we do have to go around killing all of those little maiden looking things on the ground. So I'm going to head back up and... Well, no, I, I can head back up later. What's this? <laughs> Hurrah for door. Let's head across this bridge that I haven't passed over yet. Am I back here? Nope. Strange. Oh, doesn't look like this is going to work out too well for me. Yeah. We're going to have to probably come around the side. Or maybe there's going to be some ice that paths over this, but for now, that bridge is unpathable. Time to head back up and... Goodness, I, I'm pretty sure I've actually cleared out every direction I could traverse here. Yeah. Going up in there... Oh. Wait. No. Maybe there's... There might be one side area back in this tower area that I didn't pass through them. Just gonna check to be sure. Anybody home? No, but it does a respite from the storm. I believe I didn't go this way. Yes. Yes, I did not. Oh, there's one of them. There's many of them. Just dotted around this place. So I can have them to clean up after this fellow dies. Quite nicely. No ambush from in there? Hmm. Fromsoft is getting soft on us. That hitbox. Oh, they have a chance to drop? Retainer short sword. I am a fan of the short sword, so let's see what that is. Oh, it's split magic. Off the bat, I'm wary. Retainer short sword. Short sword wielded by the retainers in the garrison ward. Long ago, the retainers attended to the priestesses, but with their disappearances, the retainers were left to wander frigid Elium Lois without purpose. So it would seem that these are the retainers, and now that there are no priestesses, they've kind of given up. At least, that's what I'm reading into it thus far. It is really cool that they give them a drop. Okay, so I've got a three-way forked path. Visions of Bonfire. This is definitely where I'm headed. Except I need to fall down to get to it, so it's not where I'm headed at all. Oh, hello. 
Where did you come from? Back here, mayhap? I really don't like this. This feels like a trap. It feels like I'm going to need to light these torches to open this door. Oh, what in the... What in... That's the same door that's on the kiln. And the throne of wants. Why is it here? God, this is better just be a reuse of assets because there is no good reason for that to be here. I am extremely perplexed. That makes no sense. Right and then bonfire, which means I want to head left. Nobody in here? Mm-hmm. Can I break the icicles? I cannot. They're nice scenery, though. Can come on down here. Lots of blood. Hmm. Is there some sort of giant enemy down here? There's a path to my right, and I can drop down ahead of myself. No, dropping down wouldn't do anything, which means it's time to head to the right. Lots of bloodstains. I'm very worried about what that means for me. Oh, that's a clever trick. I've not seen that before. But gravity is my friend, so it's no worry. The real worry at this point is that something's going to pop up from behind me. Or out of the snow like that. But the Red Iron Twin Blade manages it just fine. Old Bellhelm. Interesting. Let's have a look-see. Old Bellhelm. Helm forged from an ancient bell. Appears to be a mere curiosity, but it is in fact quite practical. The top of the helm provides significant defense. <laughs> It's just, it's just a bell. <laughs> well, the Bell Bros just got their new favorite piece of equipment. I swear to God, if you're not invading as a gray spirit in the Bell Covenant with that on, you're doing it wrong at this point. Now that they've given that to you, you just have to. <laughs> now to tag that bonfire down there. Because I'm pretty sure we exhausted all the pathways. There's only two of those little retainers dotted around that I haven't killed. I know I can get one of them with my... Oh, well, there was the whole left path that I didn't take. Which I might want to head back and try out. No, you stagger. And I take you out. They probably respawn, but I want my Estus and durability back, so let's... Hop back in here real quick. Oh yeah, that ice is definitely a built-up effect. I was beginning to have my doubts. Oh, I can back that as well. But you can see when I went inside that it started melting off the top of me, just like how poison drains away from the top of you first whenever you coat yourself with it, so... Whatever it is, this frost effect is probably not good for my health. Nice little one combo there. Nothing. Nothing. Let's kill that retainer. Is anything guarding it? Not really. Yeah, yeah. Quit your whining. There we go. That rush attack of theirs really sets them up for some heavy punishment with a backstab. Mm-hmm. Let's run right up the steps. Deal with you. Yeah. This should be a one-shot. And it is. Very nice to see. And one more? Nope, two more. They have nice range, but they're very slow in lumbering. So I'm really surprised by the magnitude of these bloodstains. Especially considering that uh, all these enemies scale with your soul memory. And yet, hmm, I suppose you can drop down from up there, but 
my soul memory is a lot higher than I actually have pumped into levels because I decided to stick to 150 on Faram. This has got to be... Come on, you're kidding me, right? I bet it has something to do with fire. We'll figure it out later, but... That is such a troll. Anything in here? Well, he's all the way over there. And that doesn't open from this side. Oh, hello. This guy's new. He looked like one of the other guys from afar, but once he got up to me... This is nobody I've, I've seen just yet. He still takes backstabs, but... He looks like he's a little bit more swift and dangerous than the rest. Some nice little life gems there. Let's pull the switch and see what we get for it. I assumed, but there's gonna be something behind it, I almost guarantee it. Well, there was a storm behind it, sort of. You? Nobody over here. Oh, there is someone up there, but he hasn't aggroed just yet. Are these retainers dotted around? Oh! Ice Javelin. That's no fun. Yeah, these guys should fall rather quickly. But now they've got a little protector coming with them. Lock him into the backstab for some invincibility. I can't... Okay, yeah, they, I was going to say that uh, just recycling the undead enemies in the game was rather lazy, but they actually did change their models somewhat, so I can... I can accept that. Oh, just a life gem. It looks like they've kind of got... A key needed? Yep. Gonna need a key. Not sure what's behind this. Mm, what's the sign say? Key required, yeah. Figured that out. Hmm. As I was saying, the little undead guys have little icicle beards. Is this the door from earlier? I really want to say that's considered a lance. Oh, that's a grapple attack. That is a cool animation, I gotta say. Oh, goodness. Well, these guys... Oh, Rampart Golem legs. So, it's a Rampart Golem. That's good to know. Rampart Golem leggings. Leggings are the Rampart Golems granted life by the Ivory King. Well, okay then. The golems were charged with the containment of the creature of chaos within the boundaries of the wall. When the doors of Elium Lois were flung open, the palace turned frigid and lifeless, but the golems were made dutifully on guard. Hmm. So it seems that when the doors of Elium Lois were opened, everything kind of froze over. And this whole place was... Oh! goodness, I should probably pay attention, but this whole place was designed to keep back the creatures of chaos, which, oh god, there is a mimic though, at least give they gave us that, try pyromancy, I've been lied to, but we are indoors so we can light up a torch, and hopefully, that should get us what we want. Nothing, really. God! Try pyromancy my buttocks. Uh, I feel so impotent right now, because there's chests all over the place, and I can't open any of them. And there's nothing I can do to get rid of that ice just yet, at least to my knowledge. I have a suspicion that it's going to be mechanic I unlock later when the storm has gone away, but I just don't know. Gah. It's frustrating, really, because I can tell that this is a mechanic, and I can tell that there's got to be some way to make do, I guess, to actually use it, but I just don't know yet. What is going on here? I'm just going to keep pulling until something new happens. Huh. 
don't know why that's there. Or what this whole nonsense is, so let's see what's over here. It's nice and warm indoors. I can have a torch here. Oh my god. Would you stop teasing me, game? Just... Just give me a friggin' torch. Or, don't give me a torch. Give me some way to actually clear those. Hello? Hmm, I thought I was gonna get the first hit. Seems I was wrong. I know there's a guy right there. Anybody over there? Nope, good. Means I can focus forward. They are overzealous when striking ahead of them, so... I think you can be pretty dead set on getting a first hit versus these guys. Green blossoms? That's a nice bit of loot. Let's see. This, I suppose, would be the connection on the right-hand path, but I am betting that this wouldn't open from the other side. I don't quite know yet, though. And since I ignored the that path coming through here the first time, I can just open it right on up. Oh, no, it definitely seems like this was meant to be open from this side, so... Ignore all that speculation. The sprinting attack is incredibly useful versus these guys. This allows me to... close the distance while I swing, rather than wait as I'm trying to swing for them to come to me. Look carefully, did it say? Look carefully. I can hear a dog going about. Hmm. I don't know what it's saying look carefully at. Oh, just that there's a broken section here? Is, is that what it's talking about? I don't think I needed to look carefully to figure that out. Only 2,000 souls? That's pretty worthless. 20,000, but still. Considering I'm full build at this point, souls are just gonna get me facing stronger opponents. Is there any way I can traverse this? Not from this side. And I am looking carefully, but... It doesn't seem to have any connections here. So let's head back out this door and down those stairs over there. Can I jump on? I can, that's nice. How about down here? Anything down here? Oof! I should have been looking carefully. I should have been looking carefully. They, they've already pulled this trick on us before, too, which makes it all the worse. I fell. Okay, then. Let's, let's, uh... Have a look-see around. See what's down here. Charmer ahead? Yeah, there's a fire over there, so all that turn back nonsense, not gonna work out too well for you. Okay. Interesting. There's either some guardian that's gonna show up midway, or invaders are just all over the place. Is there gonna be a bonfire in here? Not from this side, there isn't. And there's a fire up here. Oh. Eye of the Priestess. That feels like a key item. Yeah, definitely. Allows one to see the unseen. Oh, why do I have a feeling that just added a bunch of enemies? Anybody? Nobody? Okay, good. Let's have a read, then. The eye of the first priestess who watched over Eliam Lois allows one to see the unseen. All of the great priestesses replaced one of their birth eyes with this, returning it after their turn was complete. Well then, that's kind of creepy, but I can I can go with it. What has that actually changed? What unseen things can I now see? And does that mean I'm going to have to do some backtracking? Probably. And, you know I hate the- oh! That's a Drake Keeper. It's a Drake Keeper. 
Maul. Hammer. Oh, I was like, it looks like it's going to be friendly. It's not friendly. But it does die quickly, so... I have that going for me. That's really weird. That looked like the Llewellyn Shield and the Elite Knight set. What he's doing here, I don't really know. But I'm really glad that it wasn't a Red Invader with infinite poise. <laughs> really glad. So those are some drops. Any, anybody? Anybody gonna interrupt? Learning schools and skeptic spice. <laughs> it's kind of funny that they have those two together. Finally some mist, so let's prep ourselves. They dropped us some green blossoms, so I have no regrets burning one, even if this isn't necessarily a boss fight. And let's see what we have. A bonfire. Humbug. <laughs> oh. This priestess... Ready to fight back. The others, less so. This little lever here. What does it do? Mm, nothing? This, this, it definitely does this. Come on through. I feel like this is going to be a one-way kind of deal. That's going to shut after me after a while. Yeah, the priestesses in here are a lot more active. Well, I suppose they're the retainers. Maybe they're the retainers, maybe they're the priestesses. I don't have confirmation one way or another. For now, I'm going to refer to them as the priestesses, just because they are very similar to the priestesses in the Shrine of Amana. Not because I have any specific lore information that necessarily makes them priestesses. Oh, that was a poor trade. I was hoping my follow-up would... Swing into this guy. Okay, let's kite him back and deal with him on his own. There we go. Hmm, poorly timed on my behalf. How does that not stagger him? Come on. Anyways, I make it through, and this guy is all that's left, and he's going to fall quite easily. Anything else in the room? Nobody gave me any drops. J Ooh. Yeah, that's definitely a golem, just like King Vendrix. So, that's interesting. Hurrah for rolling. Yeah. Hurrah for rolling. <laughs> that's kind of entertaining. Oh, I'm silly. I should have used fire on those to see if they uh, exploded. But I can try that out next time. I can almost guarantee I'm going to die at some point. And at this point, that's going to drop me off of that bonfire back there. Invited by Holy Knight Orem. That's... that's no fun. And it's a dark spirit, which means it's going to have infinite poise, so... Let's cast Flame Weapon. I just... <clears throat> not looking forward to dealing with this guy. And he's got a bunch of friends. That's him taken out. Priestess, go to down next. Oh, don't poke me there. Oh, he managed to get a shield up in time for that last swing, so i got to redo that. But, no big deal. Do those barrels explode? Let's check. They don't look like the black barrels, so no. No, the barrels do not explode. But I have my eyes open. I am looking for that. Anything on the messages? Not here. Enemy ahead. And illusion ahead. Well, make up your mind! Yet, yeah, not here either. But I am interested in seeing if that enemy... Ooh, there's some frost on the path down there. Which means this is a mimic. Ooh! Oh, that is tricky! I like that! That is so cool! They finally have a phantom that uses chameleon. Oh, that was clever. I knew once they finally gave us a chest that they were going to take it away from us. And they do. Oh, that was brilliant. 
holy night my buttocks. Now, there's nothing holy about that. And what do I get for my troubles? <laughs> Silver talismans, so that I can do the same to others. The funniest thing would be to make a copycat and double up on the illusions. Let's head through the bottom path first. So that you're both barrels, both you and Orime. That would be entertaining. But I can't pass this way because the stupid ice is in the way. Lovely. I'm almost getting frustrated at this point. I mean, I know that I'm only like 40 minutes in, and this is my first experience with the DLC, so I shouldn't be expecting to have it all just laid bare before me, but... God, I want to know what's up with that. I'm not going back, lady. Who's Ava? Oh, is... Is this like the original place where I entered? It is! What the dickens? Well, let's tag the bonfire, because I am about half out on all my supplies. And we will see what happens when we take the left path, because the right path just kind of loops back in on itself. Oh, while I'm here, let's check with those other bonfires. Oh, goodness, there's six whole bonfires here, but there's the outer wall, abandoned dwelling, and inner wall. Yeah, that's original. I'm still curious as to what on earth this eye key item does. And hopefully we'll get an answer if we head this way. This way is immediately blocked by a fog wall, but I don't actually expect a boss behind it. They've done enough teasing that I don't really expect it from them anymore. Oh. Maybe? I don't believe you, lady. Um, no, I th I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I'm going to do. There are bloodstains. This does look like an arena, if ever there was one, so I'm expecting something to assail me as I head on across to that doorway over there. I'm extremely dubious that they would... Yep. Oh! Okay. That is literally beast. Take some nice damage, so no complaints for myself just yet. You can roll through it with marked consistency. Gives you ample time to heal. Right now, this boss is just cool from an aesthetic standpoint, but uh, hopefully it'll pull out some interesting tricks to punish me for all this, because at this point, it just seems like... Oh, that's not good. That is not good. However, if you get it in its face, only one of them triggers, and it's definitely a worthwhile damage trade. Yeah, let's heal up. Ooh, maybe you shouldn't have healed in front of him like that. Oh, that's really cool. Lots of ice-based crystal magic. And he dashes off. He can break the statues. That's good to see. He has a lot of rotational attacks. A lunging attack. None of his lunging attacks thus far have been any worth to him. They've just been roll bait and immediately allow me to punish him, so... I'm dubious about the design, but there's so much going on with that fight that it's definitely not gonna let me take it all in just first time through. Let's see what his soul says. Soul of Ava, the king's pet. Soul of Ava, the king's pet. Soul of Ava who served the Ivory King. Each of the Ivory King's seven beasts was conferred a specific duty. Ava was the guardianship of the king's beloved child of dark. Oh, God, no. The wondrous soul of this beast can be used to acquire numerous souls or create yada yada yada. So... This establishes that Ava was the guardian, and that the king knew he his queen was a child of dark. It was some fragment of Manus. 
I really don't like what that says of his character or what I'm going to have to be doing with this queen later on. I doubt she's going to be as subtle and deceptive as Nishandra and Nadalia, not Nadalia, but as Nishandra and Evlana. What's through the big doorway? Grand Cathedral. Now hang on. If that door doesn't open from this side, how do you get into it? Is there an elevator from lower in the level? Or higher in the level? Also, what's... No, that's just some weird... Is that some weird... I'm pretty sure that's just some weird textures. It almost looks like weird symbols on the uh, landing right across, so I don't know. We'll figure that out in time, I'm sure. But let's come right on through and... Oh, bonfire! That's really nice of them after that big boss fight. What? You know what? Let's just rest up because we only killed the boss. It's not like any enemies are going to pop back up. Lots of signs, but that's been all over the place and is always the case with these DLCs. <clears throat> They're mocking me. I swear to God. They are mocking me. They know I just want to open every chest in this entire level, and they're just not giving me any. Oh boy. Yeah, this this screams boss fight chamber. And it feels like it's going to be similar to Priscilla's boss fight, in that it's optional, and she gets pissed off if you try and break the crystals to come up to her. That's what I imagine would happen. I'm pretty great, aren't I? Faram, god of war. This land, this no, it's got chests all over the place. Oh. Oh god. Don't look directly at the glitches. It gave birth to atrocities, and the people fled in fear. Until our lord, the ivory king, came. Okay, that's cool. Wait. It was with his magnificent soul. Then where did you come in? And contained the spread of chaos. So Elium Lois, whatever it is, contains chaos. That's good. But the chaos would not be sated. And the king gave his own soul. Interesting. More. Into the chaos is Uh-huh. Yeah, don't look at that lighting. It's leader lost. Mm-hmm. I remain here to contain the chaos, honoring my lord's wishes. It still doesn't establish where you came in in the timeline. Perhaps one day. God, I hope the Ivory King is Aldia. But that just wouldn't fit. Humbug. I wanted Aldia. Why can't you give me Aldia? I'm all ears. I would love to. Probably would get me a soul in the process. This is feeling rather Faustian. Well, it depends. What do I get out of it? Oh, no, no, no. I... Ah. Yes, yes. I meant to say yes. I hate it when it defaults to no. It's such a stupid mechanic. Are you going to unmelt everything? Well, that's, that's... Like, look at this! What is this? Okay, the winds of L.A. and Lois are ceased. That's good, I'm pretty sure. Good God! 
What? But not one of them returned. Stop. No. What? This is Gwyn's storyline. This is Gwyn's storyline. What are you doing? But it was too long to wait to bear. Uh, did some of them leave? The knights of Aleonis await a new leader. Okay. One who will guide them into chaos. I don't really see why that would be a benefit to them. Do you have any other dialogues now that you... God, the lighting in this room is so terrible. Make it stop. I can see why they delayed it a week. Try and work some of that out. Okay. Hopefully I can lead people into chaos. Let's head on down and see what that really means for me. Oh. Oh, this does not look good. This doesn't look good at all. Anything? Why is... Why is, the, is this here? Why can we do this? Why is there these side passages? Makes no sense. Let's enter the mist. Oh! I made a mistake! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm in hell. And I can't lock on to that, whatever it is. And I can't hit it. Oh. What is going on? What is this? Okay, it's on my side. That's probably one of the, quote, Knights of Aleum Lois. He looks to be friendly. This is such a ridiculous encounter. What is going on? Not gonna give me the backstab? Fine. What is going on here? I have literally descended into hell. That's painful. And is is he done for? Is he just leaving? How many of these guys are there? Right now this is looking like an infinite encounter and I don't I don't like that at all. That bodes quite ill. Do I just have to stall them out? Shard something or other. I didn't have time to check because I... Okay, I think I need to stall them out. Just keep tanking them effectively while they assail me with all sorts of nasty things. Can I roll through that? Yes, let's... Don't raise your shield. That means I deal less damage. God... And there's more! I think that it works similar to the gargoyle fight, in that as I take one of them below half health, more spawn. Because it seems like they stay at a steady three, and that second guy, or, or fourth guy, only showed up after I took one of them down a little bit. So, that could be the mechanic, or it could just be, no, it's, it may just be a matter of time. But you're isolated, so let's take you out. I can get you in one combo, if nobody interrupts. Oh, a little bit of a... Ooh, frames, please. Yeah, the game is working really hard right now. Getting all four of these enemies on screen and all that lava effects. May not have been the best design decision from. And again, I can st I'm starting to see why they took so long to release this. Okay, that's you gone. That's only two of them left. No, they just keep coming. I don't know what I have to do. Can I can I go through those doors? One of them has been kind of put an end to. Is there anything I can do to this door? No. But it will tank my frame rate. So that's something to look out for. I need to back it up and heal. Luckily, these guys... Oh, I was about to say they're very slow and lumbering. Fairly easy to avoid. And then I get clipped right on the chin. Oh, I needed to roll there. I can't sprint out of that one. These pyromancers are just getting annoying. Swoop on through. Their numbers are dwindling ever steadily. So that's good to see. 
very slow and lumbering. I kind of like it. Makes it a very slow and cinematic feeling encounter. Oh god, the frames. Please stop. And it also allows for you to manage it your first time through. Whew. Oh god. Oh god. What is this? Uh... Oh, good lord. Oh, that does not look friendly. Why do I want to go to it? It's like the hours I have sour. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Burnt Ivory King. Let's, let's get some extra stamina up in here. Oh, this is not going to turn out well for me. And he gets extra warriors. Forget this whole encounter. No. You're going down first. Nope. Nope. The, the really important question is once I kill those two, does he get even more to back him up? Because if he does, I'm just going to be so pissed. I've given from a lot of leeway about the extras that they have in their boss fights, and that's just going to be too much if you expect me to deal with three enemies at a time with no respite from the group. Oh, fuck me. Oh, stop. Stop spawning new enemies. Oh, you're buffing too? Oh my god, why do you hate me? No. No, forget this. Forget this whole encounter. I don't like it. Just keep rolling. Just keep rolling. Oh, there's more! Of course there are. I bet they're on, like, some sort of demented tiger. Oh, at least he can stagger his friends. Forget you. This guy is just no joke. I'm basically having to... Oh, no, 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 no. Yes! Oh, I barely managed to avoid that. Yeah. This would be a great time for me to actually have Radiant Life Gems equipped, because I don't think these regular Life Gems are really going to do it for me. And I am... Oh, no, no, that's a grapple attack. Why did he have to grapple me? That's a lot of damage. Can I immediately heal? No, he does not let you heal up after. No, stop. Let me out. I want off Mr. Bones' wild ride. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god, that... Uh, that was relentless. I mean... That... That whole fight was just ridiculous. I want more. Let's do that again. Sign me up. Because good god, man. That was fantastic. I really hate the fact I'm I'm not gonna lie they they finally pushed it over the edge for me I hate the fact that the ads keep spawning if oh yeah woo is there any way to unlock more of them cuz just one really doesn't do it for me I gotta say he I you know what maybe there are that's an interesting idea I think you know, there are four spawners, three spawners around the room, and I have one knight who, if given enough time, takes out one of the spawners. Which leads me to believe that there's ways to get more of those white knights who will take out the other spawners and allow you to take on the boss mano y mano. I certainly cannot guarantee that this is how the fight mechanic works, but, that does make sense, because I refuse to believe that Frum would be that sadistic. Frum is known for just being absolutely cruel about these sorts of things, but... And the fact that you can't backstab is just... On top of it all... Oh my god. Yeah, we're age feathering out. This is, this is not my cup of tea. We are waiting until we get more of those white knights. Because I guarantee, and I don't guarantee you, but I strongly suspect that there's going to be more of them unlockable throughout the area. So, yeah. 
we're going to come back to this. I think this would be a really great place to cut it, but, uh, wow, that's a really interesting fight. Good God, though. That is the first time in Dark Souls, at least in Dark Souls 2, I'm pretty sure Dark Souls 1 as well, that for a good, like, five minutes it felt like, five, maybe ten minutes, I was just constant fighting, constant action, constant rolling, managing my stamina, making small mistakes here and there, but, oh, that felt good. Oh my goodness. I want to do that again sometime. Yeah, at one point I'm definitely heading into that encounter without any extra white knights if I can unlock them. No matter what, that that's something I'm going to do. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you found this interesting. I'm going to be continuing on with this, this blind run right up after this, so hope you stick around for next time. Have a good day, everybody.